Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a one brand tutorial using all Wet n Wild products. I already have my eyebrows done and I've concealed my eyes so let's just go ahead and get started into the tutorial. Eyeshadow today we're going to be using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the Studio eyeshadow palette and I've never used this but it comes with like some smoky shades and some like gold and cranberry shades and then it also comes with a brush so that's really really good. Um, it doesn't have a lot of matte shades so I will be going in with the um, Smashbox palette to help me out and I did a video on that if you guys want to see it then I'll link it down below. Because my eyelids are concealed I have not set them yet so I'm going to go in I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild blending brush and just set my eyelids using this cream shade from the Smashbox palette. And the reason I set my eyes is just because I want the eyeshadow to go on nice and smooth. Um, I conceal them in order to get rid of any discoloration on the eyelids. That way when we go with eyeshadow everything just shows up true to color and then everything blends nicely. As my transition shade, I'm just going to go in with this orange shade from Smashbox. I'm doing this so that when we go and add the other eyeshadow shades, everything just blends out nicely. And Wet n Wild actually came out with a ton of brushes recently, and they're really, really good. So if you're looking for like some drugstore brushes um, that are super cheap but good quality, definitely check out Wet n Wild because I think this blending brush is like 99 cents. So check them out. You can find them at pretty much Walgreens and CVS or um, go to wetandwildcosmetics.com and you can find them there too. We're going to go in with this dark brown shade in the Smashbox palette and just blend this on the outer V. Again, this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette doesn't really have a lot of matte shades. So that's why I'm just using these shades really quick to blend everything out. I'm just putting this right here in the outer V just to deepen everything up and make sure to blend sometimes I'll sit here for a whole minute and just blend going in with the wet n wild eyeshadow palette I'm going to take this shade right here which is like a gold okay so the palette's not bad it does have a decent um, pigmentation yeah it's not bad and I'll have all the um, I'll have all the products listed below. <sighs> all right, so I don't like this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I don't like this eyeshadow palette. This um, that shade was awful. So I'm just maybe it's the brush. So I'm just gonna go in with my Elf brush champagne shade and go right over top of what we just did because I need some more pigmentation like ASAP. Okay, so that helped it out a little bit. I'm going to be using the Milani Lashes and Flirty. These are probably my favorite lashes. The shape is just perfect and I love them. I do have a coupon code for you guys. It's Lovely Lashes 10 and it is 10% off your order no matter what you buy. So they have mink lashes and they also have like regular human hair lashes. So I'll leave that down in the description box if you guys are interested. And I'm using the Duo Brush On Adhesive. I do have a full lash tutorial um, explaining how I apply my lashes. I'm just putting mascara on first while the glue is getting tacky. And then I will apply my lashes. I don't know about the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think that the old, the old Wet n Wild palettes like the um, Comfort Zone palette and then like the um, like walking on eggshells or whatever that one was called those were way more pigmented than this one right here like this one was not that good so i don't know about that one so now that we have our eyeshadow on and our lashes on we are going to go ahead and try the new foundation this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation and i got the shade coco foundation claims to not have flashback um honestly unless the foundation has sunscreen in it i usually don't get flashback that's not like something that i'm worried about but it just says helps eliminate white particle reflection. Um, goodbye photo flash. It doesn't really say if it's going to be a matte foundation or like a dewy foundation. So we will test it out. Again, I am in the shade Coco. So we'll see if this matches. Oh no. So looking at it, I think the foundation. Oops. I think the foundation is going to be too dark. It's in the shade Coco. And what's weird is that. In the bottle, it looks more um, 
my shade but on my face it looks orange but we're gonna make it work because that's what we do and I like full coverage so I'm gonna go in with a pretty a lot of this just because I'm extra I'm gonna use the wet and wild foundation brush this brush as you guys know I use it in pretty much all of my videos it's amazing it's only three dollars you know what really sucks is that I feel like with some brands, when they go darker, they instantly do like a warm tone. But it's like not everybody's tone. Like instantly when they do darker shades for like us chocolate girls, usually the um, foundation turns orange. And it's like not all chocolate girls have an orange undertone. So I'm just like, who is making these shades? Because it's off. You know what I mean? Like this is cocoa and it it's not that off like it definitely doesn't look crazy I don't think but it's just an orange tone and I feel like with all of their foundation shades I couldn't find one that wasn't orange so it's like people are orange like why y'all making shades look orange like who said that was a good idea <laughs> if you guys were wondering I do have dry skin so I always moisturize before I put any foundation on so, um, this foundation looks pretty good. It doesn't look matte or illuminating, but it definitely is like more of a natural finish. So, it looks pretty good to me. And I would say it's about medium coverage, because as you can see, I do have some freckles peeking through still. So, it's not full coverage, but it doesn't look bad. I like it. So, the next thing we are going to use is the new Wet n Wild um, concealer. This is the concealer that matches the foundation. So, it's a photo focus concealer um tested under seven light conditions um i got the shade medium tawny and this is basically the same kind of spiel as the foundation it's supposed to not get flashback okay so i like the concealer looking at it i think the concealer is going to be um maybe a medium coverage definitely not full my favorite concealer right now is the Tarte Shape Tape, so I'm kind of comparing everything to that because that concealer right there is life. Like, if you like full coverage and you like your under eyes to be bright, get that Shape Tape, girl. I'm telling you, get it. I'm going in with my, like, third layer of, of concealer, and that's just because this, this concealer is pretty um, sheer. I have pretty dry under eyes, so whenever I look for a concealer, I just don't want it to emphasize that. So blending it out, this looks pretty good so far. If you are looking for a full coverage concealer, I don't think this would be for you. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight these areas. Next, I'm going to try out the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. So basically, this is like the um, cushion like L'Oreal Lumi foundation that they have, but it's for contouring. So you open it up and it comes with like a little wet and wild sponge and then you open this part of it and it is like a foam this is in the shade cafe Usle. oh i like that so cafe Usle 105a and it just says featherweight finish ultra blendable and super convenient so i'm not going to use this sponge because i am trying to contour so like i don't know like i can't be like this and have a circle contour so i'm not going to use that so let's see Alright, so like I guessed, this is not dark enough. Now that we have all of our cream products on our face, I'm going to go ahead and set everything using the um, RCMA setting powder. Um, if you guys are familiar with the packaging, it comes in like a salt shaker packaging. So I don't really like that because it just gets messy. So I put it in like this like old NYX container. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face using this. So I'm going to go under here and tap out these creases to make sure we don't get no creasing. And then add this powder. So far, I really, really like this foundation and the concealer. Like, it looks really good. So, tapping out those creases. And then going right up under here and setting this. I'm not baking because I'm dry and nobody has time for no dry patches everywhere. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just take powder and pack it in here set the rest of my face and even though I'm dry I still do this because this allows for the foundation not to move throughout the day 
um if i didn't do this i just feel like by the end of the day my entire foundation under here would be gone you know what i mean so i always make sure i set my entire face i'm gonna go in with this mega contouring um palette by wet and wild this is in the shade dolce de luce Oh gosh. And you know what's sad though is I'm pretty sure this is French and I took three years of French in high school and I can't even tell you how to say my name. Actually, you know what? I lied. Jamapel Diamond. That's the only thing I know from French class. Okay, so I feel like it contoured some, but I feel like the shade is a little light. So I'm just going to go in heavy handed with this. To get the cheeks and stuff snatched but far as the powder formula goes it's very very soft easy to blend um creamy it looks really really good just kind of like melting in with my skin so i kind of i really really like it it's going down the bridge so that we can get this nice and snatched girl because that is important um with this powder there is a lot of fallout um if that concerns you but i noticed that Whenever a powder is very pigmented, the more fallout it has. Next, I'm going in with the Apricot in the Middle Blush. Wet n Wild blushes have always been really, really good. Um, they always kill it in that apartment. I am going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Blush Brush. Alright, so I don't know if this is showing up. It's a very light blush and it's looking more of like a highlight for me. So I'm just going to put this here just so it can be even, but it's definitely too light for me. These highlighters that Wet n Wild just came out with recently, I think they launched them in the summer. They're amazing. They're literally like $3 and they are like better than some of these high-end highlighters. So I would definitely recommend these. Um, the packaging is so good for it to only be $3. This one in the shade Precious Petals is more of a champagne gold. And then they have one that is something, something canopy, canopy, something like that. I think it's what it's called. And it's more of like a peachy gold um, highlighter. And it's beautiful and deeper skin tones. But I'm going to go in with this one right here. Look at that, y'all. See? Told y'all $3 and it's like better than some of these highlighters that are out right now. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these. Before under my eyes, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette that we used in the beginning. And I am going to go in with this dark purple shade right here in the middle and just blend that and just blend that under the eye using the same brush that came with the palette. So I'm just going in under the eye see so these shadows they're not they're pigmented but not like overly pigmented so i'm pretty sure this palette was only like six dollars so for six dollars i mean the pigmentation is not awful i've seen worse but personally i would not grab for this again just because it could be a little bit more pigmented in my opinion so now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Wet n Wild has good mascaras. I just forgot to pick one up. And I'm just going to hit up my bottom lashes. Wet n Wild came out with liquid lipsticks. And I was so excited when they did because they're only like $5 compared to high-end liquid lipsticks that are $20. So this will be my first time trying them out. And I picked out these mauve shades, obviously, because those are my favorite kind of shades. So I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. It is kind of a mauve pink shade, which are kind of like my favorite everyday shades. I can't get away from them. So I'm just going to apply this and see how the formula is. Ooh, so very pigmented. And with this shade right here, which is very recognized, and just put this on top. So that is the end of the tutorial. So as for the eyeshadow palette, I definitely feel like Wet n Wild could have done a little bit better. Some of their previous eyeshadow palettes have been better in the past, but this one is not that good. So I'm not really a fan of this. The foundation is 
awesome. I really do like the way that it's sitting on my face right now. It is nice and flawless. It didn't cling to any dry patches. As you guys know, I have dry skin. So I really do like the foundation so far. I will let you guys know maybe in my next video or in the description box if I still like it. But for right now, it does look really, really good. Um, the concealer is good. I got the shade Medium Tawny, and I really like the shade that it was in. The only thing is I feel like I had to build it up to a coverage that I liked. Um, so it's a pretty sheer concealer. So if you guys are interested in something like that, then I would definitely go and buy this. Because other than that, it did really, really good. And it um, looks flawless under the eyes. As far as this cushion contour foundation, I can't say whether I like it or not. Because as you guys saw, the shade was not dark enough for me. So I'll just have to try this out again and see if there's any other shades. But for right now, I just really can't say if I liked it or not. As um, far as the blush, it was way too light for me. As you guys saw, it really just acted as kind of like a blush topper. If you are um, lighter than me, this would be a really nice orange kind of bronzy shade. But if you're me or darker, this is not going to work for you. It just really doesn't show up. These highlighters I am here for. I love these highlighters. I've used them before and I've used some of my clients and I love them. Wet and Wild really hit it. As far as the liquid lipsticks, I really do like the formula. Um, it is dry right now, but it's not uncomfortably dry. It doesn't look bad or anything like that. Surprisingly, this contour palette, I really do like it. I do feel like I could have went darker in shades, but it worked and it got the job done once I was piling it on. So I do recommend this. Wet n Wild really killed it with the powders. They're nice and soft and buttery and they blend easily. So for this to only be like $5.99, I definitely recommend it. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and please give it a thumbs up if you guys like videos like this and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.